最後スカイプープまでの飛行時間はピリクも1時間5分を予定しております。Alright, so here's a quick pro tip for anyone who travels a bunch. We, just before we left, so we used to use iPhones for everything, and that just used to be our phone that we had. But when we left, we started looking into like plans for international travel, and everything is so stinking expensive. Like, I'm sure you know this, it's way expensive. They charge you like 10 bucks a day to use your phone, it's just not worth it. And so, what we did is we decided, look, let's look for a better option. And this like isn't a plug for Google Fi, Project Fi, because like we're sponsored or something. Just like trying to share like best practices and tips with you guys. Get Project Fi and get like the Google Pixel. Like the phone is wonderful for travelers. It takes amazing images, which is like sort of like a side thing. Like we don't actually care about the camera that much, even though it's the best out there. What what's bigger for us is no matter where we fly in the world, it's the same rate as it is home. So. What we paid back in New York just before we left is the same as we're paying here in Japan, and it connects immediately. You're not throttled. You're not like 3G network. You're at LTE, whatever like the highest amount is. You have that, and so honestly, Project Fi is the way to go. It makes your life a hundred times easier when you're traveling because it connects automatically. And here's the best part: even if you don't fly internationally that often, if you get the phone, apparently you can like put it on pause. So you can put your service on pause. So you're not paying constantly. So if you wanted to have two phones, and that's like a plausible idea for you because you travel enough, like you can get both phones, put your Google Project Fi service on pause. I think you just have to resume it at least once a year, and you're good to go. So you can just keep pausing it after every trip, have LTE service no matter where you are in the world when you go, and then when you come back, you can pause it again. Also, the rates are great. So. That's the that's a lowdown for you of how to travel the world with internet service or cellular service without paying out your freaking behind with the other like AT and T, Verizon, T Mobile, all the other services. So we want to start this new thing where, when we're leaving a country that we just got to visit, well, so in this case, Japan. We don't even have to start a new thing because this is our first country. Oh yeah, I guess that is our first country. So, so we're not starting a new thing. <laughs> it is a thing, and will always be a thing on our channel. So one thing we really want to do is talk about the things that we loved about the country we just visited.、Um, maybe things that are unique. Yeah, just like what was our favorite? What did we? What do we take away from it? So. Let's talk about Japan. I loved how easy it was to navigate. Really good transportation system. I would say so. I thought I was gonna just like want to be in Tokyo the whole time, but being in Osaka was actually so much more fun for me. And I think the reason for that being it was a little bit slower paced. I thought the the lanterns everywhere were beautiful. The food, just like the whole feeling you got, was just incredible.、Um, truly, it was like it was almost magical in some ways with the lights and. At least, I mean, I don't know how it is during the day, but at least at night it was so pretty. And I liked Kyoto because it had like this older feel to it. We were able to see more history. Whole shrines and history. Yeah. Japan's incredible. You have like the history. You've got like this super modern, relevant city in Tokyo. Yeah. And then Osaka's like kind of in between. Yeah. It was kind of a lot of fun. Ah,、uh, we're coming awesome. back. Awesome. Yeah. No, we're、back. totally gonna be back to Japan. This is just a little bit of a. Just wetted our taste buds. Is that even a phrase? <laughs> <laughs> the line is so long. Like actually, completely empty. Just kidding. We're walking straight forward. Now 
let's talk about the food. What foods do we like the most? For me, that was the okonomiyaki. It is a pancake-like uh, Japanese food. It's like, it, it, actually what I would compare it to better is when you are, so I grew up with like Jewish heritage, so we'd always celebrate Hanukkah. And it's kind of like a latka in some ways. So it's like the same sort of consistency, but they throw, exactly, but they throw in some like other like really fun, like maybe like green peppers or pork, some other things into it that like made it really good. And I know pork obviously isn't Jewish, but that's why I'm just using that consistency yeah. to get from this. It was actually like really good. I really like the okonomiyaki. My favorite actually was ramen. I loved trying all different kinds of ramen. Okay, day four, I got a little tired of it. <laughs> but in hindsight, the ramen was something that I really loved. Ah, oh, hi. It's casual. Are you excited for South Korea? What are you most excited for in South Korea? Uh, Korean barbecue. Same. Korean barbecue. Really good. Yeah. Everything here looks so Instagram worthy. Look how cute and pink this little sh ice cream shop is. Literally every shop looks like like the perfect color combination and cute little everything. Hello, we're in the red. <laughs>